Hi everyone and welcome to this morning Pilates class. This isn't going to be a slow wake up morning Pilates class. This is going to be an energizing Pilates class to get your day started off with a bang. And all you really need is 15 to 20 minutes to get a really good workout in. So we're going to get started on our mats. I want you to roll down onto your back. We're going to get the heart rate up a little bit in this class. I want you to imprint your spine to the mat. Lift your legs up to tabletop or one at a time. Bring your hands behind your head. And then we're going to lift up into our ab curl. So you're going to exhale, lift the head and neck and shoulders off the mat. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift, gaze towards the thighs. Inhale, lower. Your ribs are sliding down towards your hips. You're not popping in the abs as you lift. You're drawing the belly button to spine so that you're keeping that intra-abdominal pressure. You're not pulling on your neck. Your head is just resting in your hands. Let's go for another four, three, two, one. Hold it up here. You can either keep the legs like this or you can extend them on a diagonal. Go with your level. We're going to extend the arms, lifting up into our ab core. Pump the arms. Inhale for five pumps. Exhale for five pumps. So we're getting into the hundred. We're waking up the core, getting that energizing movement into our bodies. Inhale. Exhale. Nice strong pumps with your arms. Okay. We're not going to go for the full 100. We might go for 50. Okay. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale. Perfect. Bring one leg in, bending it in, and then we're going to alternate. Exhale as you bring that knee to the chest. Remember, scoop those abs in. Keep that back press flat to the mat. I want you to take your hands behind your head and then we're going to twist opposite elbow to knee. But you're lifting and twisting, getting into the contralateral obliques. Exhale as you twist. Keeping that back press flat to the mat. Getting into those obliques. Okay. Bring the legs in. Hold on to the shins, and then you're going to inhale, extend arm and legs. Exhale, circle arms around, bring it back in. Double leg stretch. Exhale, circle. Inhale, extend. Exhale, circle. So you're just lowering the legs as far as you can maintain that imprinted spine. Keep your head up in your ab curl. Make sure you're looking towards your thighs, not towards the ceiling. Perfect. Last two. Last one, extend the legs to the ceiling, drop one leg, pulse the other leg in twice, switch, 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 perfect. Scoop the abs in so that you're using the abs to pull that leg, not your hands. Okay, last two, last one, hug it in, lower that head and neck. Roll out that neck. Just releasing the neck from all the tension. And then we're going to place our feet on the mat. You're going to exhale, lift the hips, coming into your glute bridge. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. I want you to make sure that when you're lifting up, you're sliding your ribs down towards your hips. Slight tuck under the pelvis so you're not flaring in the ribs. You're keeping that core connection. Belly button to spine. Hips are square. Perfect. Pressing through those heels. Squeeze those glutes. Let's go for another three. Two. One. Hold it up here. We're going to extend, bend and extend the right leg. Make sure the hips are square, not going to the side, and then bend it back in. Go to the other side. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lower. Remember to keep the hips still, stable. 
and on the same plane at all times. So keep that stability by using your core. Perfect. Let's go for another two. Last one. Bend it in. Lift up those heels so you're on your toes. Lower it down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Perfect. Get it into those calves as well. And the hamstrings and the glutes. Three, two, one. Lower the heels down. Lower the glutes down. Hug the knees in towards the chest. We're not finished with the glutes just yet. I want you to come up to a four-point kneeling position. We're going to get into the glutes some more. So come down onto your left forearm. You're on your right hand. You can box off your left forearm. And then we're going to flex that right foot. Exhale, press it up to a donkey kick. Inhale, lower it back down. So use that mind-to-muscle connection. As you lift that leg, you're using your glute to lift it. Exhale, lift. Keeping that core engaged. Belly button to spine. Let's go for another three. Feel that contraction in the glute. Two. One. Hold it up here. We're going to externally rotate that leg so that the foot rotates down. Bring it in a little, coming into a fire hydrant, and then lift it back up to your donkey kick. So bring it in, lift it back up. Exhale, inhale. Perfect. Getting into that rotation of the hip. The femur is just moving inside that hip joint. Last three. Two. One. Extend it back. Extend that leg. Open up the hip. You're going to bend it in. Extend it out. Slide it back. Oh, my hip just cut. Clipped. Bend it in, extend it out, slide it back. And really create that length through that leg. Perfect. Core connection, keeping you stabilized. Obliques are stabilizing you. And that supporting leg is working as well. Last two. Slide back. Feel that contraction in the glute max. Last one, bend it in, extend it to the side, slide it back, lower, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Last exercise here, core engage, belly button to spine, using the glute to lift. Your leg is slightly externally rotated, Getting into the glute max, the glute need, and the glute min. Last two. Last one. Bend it in. And then we're going to swivel onto our left side. Coming down onto the si our side. Feet on, line with the hips. Take your arm to your hip. You're going to exhale, lift, and extend that right leg. Inhale, lower back down. Really push up out of that shoulder, out of that side waist. So the obliques are working hard. Last three. Two. One. Hold, hold, hold. We're going to swivel around. Bring your hands down to the mat. Coming down into a prone position. Okay, so your forearms are down on the mat. And then you're going to rest your head on the mat. You're going to inhale, lift up, extending the spine, peeling the chest off the mat, lifting up with your back extensors into some nice back extension. Make sure your arms aren't locking out. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift, using those back extensors. Focus on that mind-to-muscle connection. Keep your belly button to spine. Okay, last four, slow and controlled, three, 
two, one, lower it down. Take your hands out a bit further forward. So you're resting on those elbows. Press your hands into the ground. You're going to exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So we're getting into those triceps, getting into those back extensors. Let's go for another four, three, two, last one. Lower it down, press back to a shell stretch. Stretching out the back, out the glutes, out the arms. Taking a nice big deep breath before we go into the other side. <sighs> okay. And when you're ready, I want you to roll up to seated. And then we're gonna do the other side. So I want you to box out your right forearm, resting on your right left hand, flex that left foot. And then we're going to lift lower. So exhale to lift, inhale to lower, feel that glute contraction. Make sure you're keeping the hips square here for this one. Let's go for another four. Last three. Two. One, hold it up, externally rotate, rotating that foot downwards, bring it into your fire hydrant and then lift it back up to your donkey kick. Perfect. Exhale, rotate, inhale, lift it back up. Finding that rotation of the hip, getting into the glute med and the glute min. Okay. Last two, last one, lift it up. We're going to extend that leg, bend it in, extend it out to the side, sweep it back. Slow and controlled for this one. You wanna focus on that mind to muscle connection, making sure that you're working the right muscles. The supporting leg is working, so you'll feel it there as well. Keep that core engaged, the hips stable. Last three. Two, last one, hold it back, lower, lift. Exhale, as you lift, externally rotating that femur inside the hip joint. So we work in the glute med, glute min, and glute max. Perfect. Last three, two, one, lower it down, come down onto your side coming into our side planks. Bend those legs, feet in line with the hips, hand resting on the hip. Exhale, lift and extend that leg. Inhale, lower it back down. Push up out of that shoulder, out of that side waist. Good, belly button to spine. Using those obliques, using the side glutes to lift you. Last two, last one. Rotate downwards, coming down into another prone position. Extend your arms out in front of you. Create fists with your hands. Lift up into some extension, so slight extension of the back. And then you're going to hover your arms off the mat. You're going to circle them back around. Inhale, lift. Exhale, circle them forward. Inhale, lift further. Exhale, circle and forward. So this is like a variation of breaststroke. Perfect. Last three. Two. One, keep your hands back. Lift up into extension. Release the fist. Palm flips. Flipping your palms. Getting into the triceps, bringing the arms in towards the body. Finishing out here strong. Last three, two, one. Release the arms back down, press back to a shell stretch. Nice counter stretch for the spine. 
<sighs> taking a nice big deep breath. You've woken up your body <laughs> for the day, so you're ready to get on with your day, feel energized, come down to seat in the middle of your mat, bend that left leg to the side, right leg in front, take that right arm up and over, coming into lateral flexion, releasing that side waist, and then we're going to take the left arm up and over. We're going to switch sides, bring the left leg in front, right leg behind, lift the left leg, I mean arm, up and over, and then the right arm, releasing there, give me a nice shoulder roll, and that's it for today's class guys, I hope you have enjoyed this quick energizing morning Pilates, and that you feel ready to begin your day, and if you have enjoyed this, please give my video a like, comment down below, let me know how you enjoyed it, and subscribe down below as it really supports my channel and I really appreciate it and I hope to see you all in the next video. Please stick around. Bye guys.